Hey guys, it's Lori. I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today and I'm actually pretty excited about it. Even though my main Dollar Tree that I go to has gone downhill, it still looks about the same as it did like a week ago. It doesn't look much different and they were putting away truck today and it looks like they're pretty close to being done putting it away. I mean, they still have a couple carts with boxes on it, but they're all like in like the, the health and beauty stuff or the cleaning stuff and uh, some party supplies. Other than that, it looks like like all their crafty stuff and their decor and stuff like that, their candles, their picture frames, like all that stuff is still like almost nothing there. So I'm not, I'm not thrilled about that, but it's not quite as messy as it was last week when I was in there, so I don't know what's going on. But as usual, I'll start out with what I call the boring stuff. I got some dog treats, the canine carryouts. And I also picked up some of these Sour Patch Kid, uh, like they're like conversation hearts. Yeah, that's what they're calling them. Conversation hearts, Sour Patch Kids. I always get these at Valentine's um, time and the kids just love them. Everybody loves them. I don't like this kind of candy anyway, so it doesn't matter to me if we have these because I'm not gonna eat them. So, <laughs> you know, they're not gonna tempt me is what I'm saying. So I got a couple packs of those to, I'm probably just gonna throw out my Christmas candy. If nobody's gonna eat it, I'm gonna throw it out. And there's, it's about half full still with the Christmas chocolates. And then I'll just put those in instead. Okay, I also grabbed some of these screen cleaning wipes. It's a screen cleaning wipes, 20 sheets in there to keep your phone screen clean. Okay, my phone screen just drives me nuts because it always has fingerprints all over it. And when I play wordscapes, it always has like circle, like fingerprints down at the bottom in a circle because that's, you know, where my fingers are when I'm playing the game. Anyway, I got two packs of those, so I hope they're good. <laughs> I also, if you guys follow me, you know that I'm going to be having a sale in the spring because I have a ton of stuff. So I picked up some of these stickers. There are 360 pieces in here, the garage sale labels. And yes, I did get two. I'm not going to need like that many, but some of the like different prices I want more of and you know, you never have enough of the that one price that you want more of so I mean for a dollar a pack I'm just gonna you know grab two packs and not only that but I also grabbed a pack of these and there's 315 in here just regular plain stickers they're blank and this will have some blank ones in it too but that way I can just write down because I have a feeling a lot of things are gonna be marked at 25 cents so I'm probably gonna fill out a bunch of these with 25 cents ahead of time. I also grabbed one of these metal basket, um, wire basket, whatever, just like a mail tray, but I'm actually gonna hang this up on the wall. I think if I hang this up on the wall, then I'll be able to put like little S hooks in it and hang stuff from it. I don't know, maybe. I'm gonna try it and see how it works. I also got some things for Hayden's room. We're trying to, just kind of switch it up a little bit in there for him because he is getting a new bed tomorrow. It's going to be here tomorrow. My brother's bringing it and it's it's going to look a lot different in there. So he really, really likes this color of blue. So I went ahead and picked up this. Yes, there's a bag in there. This trash can for him because I cannot find a bag to fit in his trash can. So these are the bags that I bought from Dollar Tree in my last haul. They fit in here. They fit. <laughs> And I, I went ahead and left it in there because I just tried it to see if they fit. But I'm going to show you guys. This is how thin these things are. Like, they're super thin. So don't use it for anything gross or something, you know? Like, to put cat litter in here? Uh-uh. No way. I would have to, like, triple bag the cat litter. And then it's going to be loose at the top. So I can just, like, twist it around like this and put a little... A little knot in it right there, I think. I think I can do that without too much trouble. I don't know, there's not a whole lot of end left there for me to do it with, but I'm pretty sure I can do it. That's how I usually keep the bags on when there's no, like, when it's not one of those, like, the pull, with the pull strings in it, you know what I mean? Yeah, so this is what I usually do. Yeah, so that works. It'll hold it snug on there. It's tied in a little knot. It's no big deal. Just rip it out when you're ready to take take the bag out. It's no big deal. So yeah, that's gonna be awesome. And he's gonna be happy to see 
that he has something that's his favorite color. <laughs> and I also grabbed, I put up some shelves in there and we need some storage. I have one of these fabric totes already that's this color, but I went ahead and grabbed this one. This one was on the shelf with other totes inside of it, but I just took the totes out that were inside of it and grabbed this one because it was the only one they had in that color. <laughs> so, and like I said, I already have one that's that color for him, so now he has two. And he needs more than that, so I went ahead and grabbed four of these. They're just gray with that like gold, I don't know what design that would be, but I got four of those with that design. Then I just got some random baskets too, which I don't know if that's a good idea or not, because sometimes when you have baskets, you just find something to fill them with. But I actually have a closet in that room, and I'm probably just gonna put these up on the shelf in there, and then if he needs a basket for something, we can get one down. And I went in and grabbed these because this was all they had in this color. So I took them, I got them all. This size right here, which isn't too bad. I don't like the slanted sides, but you know, that's okay. And I got four, or no, there's three. Three of this size right here with the little handles on the side. And I also got four of this kind with this design. Let me take these apart so you can see the design. It's this design right here. So, yeah, and I don't think he's gonna need all of these unless we maybe store some clothes in it or something, but I don't think we will. Okay, so there's those. They have Easter out. They have Valentine's out, they have Easter out, they have spring out, so I'm going for it. I got a couple of packs of these carrots. I know that I already have some from last year, but I grabbed a couple packs anyway. I'm gonna put that stuff in my stash. The last thing that I need to be doing is bringing stuff into my house right now. I understand that. I'm completely well aware of that. <laughs> I kept telling myself that when I pulled in the parking lot, you really shouldn't be here. But then on the other side of the token, I'm thinking, you know what? This stuff in here just makes me happy. It makes me happy. It, I have my craft supplies that I, I seriously do plan on having time to do crafts at some point, <laughs> but I love, I love this stuff. It just makes me happy, you know what I'm saying? Dollar Tree makes me happy, so so I did it. What can I say? This heart-shaped, okay, that was Easter, this is Valentine's. I have some more Easter and some more Valentine's, so it's gonna be all mixed together. The heart-shaped wreath form. This one is pretty good sized. I'm pretty sure they had a smaller size before, and I never picked it up because I've seen like wreaths made with it and I, did I pick it up? I might have ended up getting one last year. I don't remember, but either way, it doesn't necessarily look like a heart when you're done with it because it's kind of small. So anyway, I grabbed this one and it's kind of narrow too. So I think it's gonna look like a heart when it's finished. So there is that. And I also picked up these um, vase. I'm gonna call it a vase. Is it? The sticker doesn't say what it is on the bottom, but I would say that this is a vase with the little hearts all over it. I think that's really pretty. And this is a design that I had not seen before. So this ha is just like a tree with the same hearts on it that this has. And I think that'll look really cute just with, I don't know if I would put maybe, I don't know, I'll have to figure that out. But maybe I won't put anything in it, but maybe a candle or maybe some flowers, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay, I got some carrots. I got some orange and yellow striped carrots. These have little picks on the bottom. They're pretty good sized. So I got three packs because I thought maybe a group of three, like two groups of three, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but now I have them, so there you go. <laughs> some more of these uh, speckled eggs. I already have some of these and I definitely use them. I made a garland with them last year. I made a little like a bird's nest with some of these in last year. So if I do have any of these left, it's just like a couple, but they look pretty even just like this. Just take, you can even just take the plastic off or you can just leave them like this. They just look cute sitting out. So anyway, I grabbed some more of these and I got some signs. They're like wooden, um, wooden words, I guess. This one says home and it's got a heart attached to it. And uh, 
I'm not crazy about the M. I guess it just looks like a blob. But if you paint it, you know, <laughs> you could fix that. So there's that. And I also got this one that says love. And that's pretty good sized. But yeah. And this one, XOXO. I like XOXO. I don't know. I just like that. It reminds me of the show Gossip Girl. XOXO. <laughs> Gossip Girl. And I got a bunch of garden stuff. So I'm excited about that. I got four of these. I'm gonna use these for my front porch this year, I think. I'll, I'll get some plants to put in these. I didn't do any on my front porch um, last summer at all, but I kind of missed it. So I'm gonna do that this year. And it comes with this, um, this is just like white cord. Looks like shoestrings kind of. So <laughs> anyway, there's those. They don't have any holes in them though. So there's that. Okay, but anyway, hanging baskets. Got four of them in this color. They had green ones and I can't remember what the other color, terracotta color. Yeah, that's what the other two colors that I saw. But I'm not crazy about these white cords. So I picked up some of these plant hangers, the black chains, and I think that'll look a lot better. And I got four of, four of those chains also. There's Four, of, four baskets and four chains. And I also found these things. These um, plant brackets. You can use these for a shelf bracket if you just um, bolt it into the wall. Bolt it. <laughs> you Use drywall screws or something other than these things, I would say. Although those don't look like too bad of screws. They're not very long. But I would probably use a longer like drywall screw and make sure I'm going into a stud and you can sit a shelf on it. I mean, there's no holes to attach the shelf to it, but you could always use like some E6000 and glue it down if you wanted some stability or just sit it on there. I mean, unless you're doing something crazy, it's probably not gonna go anywhere. So, okay, there's those. Oh, and I got six of those actually. I got some of these, what are they calling them? Metal garden hooks, they're like, giant S hooks and there's two in a pack. I picked up a couple packs of those. I really like these planters. So I got four of them because we're gonna be redoing my garden this year. I'm not, probably not gonna be planting any veggies. I'm not sure yet, but I'm probably not. I'll talk about that in a different video. But look at these planters. I think those are so pretty. They look like a wooden barrel. I like these, they're cute. I got four of them. So yeah, I think it would look cute like sitting on a piece of wood, like a piece of a stump or something. But I don't know, maybe not, but I don't know. I like them, so I got four of those. And I also picked up another set of these stacking planters. I don't know for sure like what they're calling these. Um, stackable three-tier planter, that's what they're calling it. And what you can do, I had one of these in my garden last year and I love them. I thought they were really nice. So, let me, it's kind of hard to do. I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> it's hard to do when I'm trying to sit in my chair. But yeah, just like this. That's what they look like. And I actually thought maybe I would put some of these on my front porch. They have different colors this year. So this sort of, See, it looks sort of tan, okay? But it also kind of looks gray to me. So, I don't know what color this is. What color is this, you guys? <laughs> I don't know, is it tan or is it gray? In the store, I thought it was kind of gray. I get it home, I'm thinking, it actually looks kind of tan, but then I'm thinking, no, it actually does look kind of gray. So I don't know what color this is, but they had this color. <laughs> and they have blue, yeah. I think this will look good in my garden too. I don't know, I might use the terracotta color one in my garden because that's what I already have. So I could put two of them out there. Anyway, now I'm thinking out loud, but they have blue as well. So I think those were pretty nice. I also picked up this little stone right here, or rock, whatever you wanna call it. I'm not sure what it's made out of, if it's made out of like, I don't know. But this is what it is. It looks like a stepping stone, sort of, but it's just a garden decoration that says peace on it. And I just thought this was really pretty. So, 
yeah, I just picked that up. Those have caught my eye before and I've never grabbed them. But they had two other designs. I can't remember what they said on them. One said hope and I think one said believe. Yeah, so anyway, I almost got them all, but I didn't. I just got that one because it was my favorite. And I also grabbed a bunch of these things. Oh my goodness. It is a flower pot hugger. Look at this. It's a turtle hanging onto a ladder. I think that is so stinking cute. Let's try it out. This, oh, it's got like a, hold on, it's got like a wire tie on it. So let's try it on this one. Okay, is that not adorable? <laughs> that is so cute. Oh my goodness. So there's a turtle. Oh, I'm not done, I got a bunch of them. They have a gnome. Same thing, he's climbing up a ladder. They have a bumblebee. So cute. They're all cute. I love them all. They have a ladybug. <laughs> a ladybug. And an owl. <laughs> and this one, I think this one might be my favorite. I don't know. The turtle. I don't know. The frog. It's so cute. The frog or maybe the turtle. I can't decide which one's my favorite out of those, but yeah, I like those a lot. Okay, so I saved my favorite things until last, and you might think my favorite thing is kind of weird, but I can't help it. Well, those were kind of one of my favorite things, but <laughs> these right here look like picture frames. This says mermaid fund, and this says treat yourself. Pink glitter and teal glitter, and they have a hole in the top, so they are banks, but they look like a shadow box. And I saw these the last time I was in there, okay? And I almost picked one up, but I didn't. Well, I decided this time, you know what, I'm getting it. And the reason I didn't is because I just, I don't like what they say. So I thought, well, why not just fix it into something else? Like DIY it, <laughs> you know, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna change it change it to like a different, I can put a different background in there, take the words off. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So, and I like the colors. I'm probably gonna keep the colors the same. I like them and I like those two colors together. So there's that. The last thing that I got is, I already have similar things like this, but I've never seen this particular pattern. So I'm gonna have to scoot back a little bit to show you. It's these carpet squares. Look at these colors. That just that's just screams retro to me. And they're so stinking cool. I got four of them all together. They're the ones that are thick. They're the thicker ones. So, yes. I was so happy to see those. And I will show you <laughs> that's something I'm going to show you also in another video, a different video coming up is what I do with those. So, yeah. All right, so that's everything that I got in my Dollar Tree haul. I actually got a Bath & Body Works order too. Maybe I'll just go ahead and open it real quick. I don't think it's super exciting. It's been so long since I ordered it that I almost don't remember what's in it. So yeah, let's go ahead and order er, Let's go ahead and order it real quick. How about let's go ahead and open it real quick. I know this is Dollar Tree haul where you're getting a bonus at the end, if you're still here. If you're still here, thank you. I appreciate you. Sunshine and Lemons Soap. Some summertime soap for myself. Fresh cut lilacs. I love the design on that bottle. Isn't it pretty? I have never smelled this before, but I love lilacs, so. It sort of smells like lilacs, but it smells soapy, so it doesn't really smell like an actual lilac. <laughs> Let's see what sunshine and lemons smells like. Ooh, that smells wonderful. Yes, that smells wonderful. Okay, what else did I get? I got some Zen Garden body wash and foam bath, and it is made with, hold on, I can't read it, I need my glasses. Made with mimosa, mimosa? Made with mimosa, mimosa? How do you say that? Well, you know what I'm talking about. Pink pepper, and I'm not even gonna try it. I don't know how you pronounce that. This right here, that right there. 
So anyway, yeah. <laughs> Body wash and foam bath. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I got this to use as foam bath. Oh, wow, that smells wonderful. That's gonna be great, foam bath. So there's that. And I also picked up the matching uh, moisturizer cream, moisturizing body cream. And I also decided to get a body lotion in the rose water and ivy because I actually got a bottle of the body spray for myself not too long ago and I absolutely love it. I love it. So, oh, this smells just as good. I love it. Okay. And the last thing I got was this car fragrance refill with crisp morning air. I have one in there right now that's supposed to be like a, um, I don't remember what it is. It's like a fallish kind of scent, I think though. Or maybe it's got some kind of cinnamon or something in it. Christmassy, could be fall or Christmas, I think. But I can't smell it. Like it has no smell, no smell. And no, I don't have COVID. Okay, these boxes, Bath and Body Works boxes. You can remove the tape, go right here to where you can see the seam, tear it open right here. Do it kind of carefully so you don't rip it all to shreds. Tear it open and fold it back up backwards. Now right now I'm just holding it together but you can have yourself a cute little storage box if you do that. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, that's everything. And a bonus Bath and Body Works haul and a bonus box, storage box DIY. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching guys. And I will see you in the next video. Crazy guy, crazy guy's in here. He didn't see me and I'm hiding from him. taking forever to leave. He already paid. I'm looking through these gloves. <laughs>